Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 22. As always, thank you for tuning in and listening and subscribing, and a big round of thanks to my new subscribers that I've been getting in droves over the last few days. I do appreciate it. I am humbled and gratified to be able to bring you these tips of the day and the other tutorials that I've been doing. Uh, so I thank you, as always, for tuning in. For today's tip, we're going to do a really quick one, a short one, uh, but useful nonetheless, I believe. Um, many of us have seen the scenario where, for example, we have a, a model, say a medic or something like that, and uh, for one reason or another, the pivot handle has been moved off to some location or another. Like maybe we used Alt-V or we used the, uh, the ability to reset the pivot handle or something else caused the pivot handle to be moved off of center uh, or, you know, it's it's basically it's no longer centered on the anchor point of the model, uh, and you know you can you can move your camera around and try try to get it back to uh, where you need it to be by kind of like trial and error until you get Alt V and it's just in the right place. But that's yeah, it's not always very easy to get it right back where you need it to get. So let's uh, let's take a look here, and the easiest way to do it is to just uh, right click and say reset pivot. And that just puts the pivot right back on the anchor point. Now, for some of, some people, they're, they've already known this for a while. But for others, like myself, uh, I didn't realize that you could just reset the pivot that easily until a couple of days ago. And so, for what it's worth, this was something that was uh, stymieing me for a little while. And it was somewhat annoying because whenever my pivots would get off of my models... I would be kind of, you know, fiddle farting around trying to make sure that they were uh, in exactly the right place and the pivots weren't where, where I needed them to be. So uh, for what it's worth, you can um, you can reset your pivot by simply uh, uh, hitting, hitting right clicking and selecting reset pivot. Uh, another thing to note is that with the global translation tool, that's this one here, um, you can uh, drag it around by using the little uh, doodad on the side and that will drag it around in space. But if you hit the shift key while you're dragging, after you've started dragging, press shift, you'll get this little doohickey, which kind of glues the pivot to that where that little doohickey is, which is a useful little feature. So I can do this and then everything I'm doing is relative to that particular point. And then if I decide, you know, I want to put this back where it started, I just say reset pivot and all is well. Uh, a couple of other things to do in the name of experimentation, because you know I always encourage people to experiment, is if you right-click on these transform handles, you'll get uh, uh, some context menus. So you can change this to, say, use the global axis uh, instead of the, the local axis. So when I do that, it changes this to orient against the, the world orientation instead of the model orientation. Uh, I can right-click it and say rotation mode. This one is fun. Rotation mode local. And what this will do is instead of rotating the model, it'll rotate every part of the model, which can produce some kind of fun effects. Uh, and uh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know. Uh, so these, these kinds of things are useful uh, in the context of experimentation. And uh, I hope you get a lot out of, uh, out of knowing this stuff. Uh, again, I am Jimmer Linz. This has been your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. As always, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you're having a great day and enjoy using Source Filmmaker.